Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're all doing good. Hi. Would you like to say hi? Yeah. Okay. Come here. Hi, Dan. Hello, Shot. Hello, Mommy Fat. <laughs> Hello, Mommy Fat. Close my door for me. Thank you, Bubba. It's okay if the cats come in. I just like to keep the door shut while I'm working. Can you shut it for me? Yeah, it's fine. Just shut it for now, okay? And if they want to come in, they'll let me know. <coughs> Thank you. Hello. She's grown so much, I know. I know, she's a big kid now. It's wild. How are you guys? Hello, hello. fun last night i saw you guys had some um some i think good feedback good like critique if you stuck around and watched any of hellions um and you have feedback that you'd like to give to them i'm sure that they would be receptive to that i saw a couple of things that i'll for sure pass along but in terms of like playing the game it was very fun because it's it's much more um theater of the mind than the other games that I play, like we all roll physical dice and stuff, so it's it's nice. It's just different, you know. Yeah, I'm doing good. I had a good morning with Clarky. I just got done making dinner, so that's done. Dinner's done. I don't have to think about that later when I'm getting ready for Final Fantasy time. I know. I still have it right here. Clarky got so excited. She was like, mommy, your dice. I was like, I know. I never have a reason to take them out. I just had my son over the weekend. Oh my God. Congrats. That's exciting. <sighs> An opportunity to cheat. We've talked about that before, but like, it's so fun to fail. <laughs> it makes no sense to cheat. She doesn't say, I know she doesn't say roll rolls anymore. She used to call them roll rolls for anybody who wasn't here for that. It was very cute. Yeah, I made a full list because I did click and collect and I got a bunch of food and I was like, I'm not I'm not letting any of this shit go bad. <laughs> not gonna be wasteful. So I made a full list of like what I'm using everything for. <laughs> what if we start calling them roll rolls? I mean, we could. I think some people would be confused, at least at first. First roll rolls and next heart beeps. Yeah, she still says heart beep. Instead of heart beat, she says heart beep and it's very cute. Yes, oh my God. Um, 
I have already, just in the last two weeks, I've made uh, the like in the rice cooker vegetable rice three times because it was so good. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Not sure. Does Clarky enjoy the veggie rice? She likes making the veggie rice. She ate, she ate some of it, but not a ton of it. Is that why the basket is there? Yes, because I have a toddler and sometimes they just decide they don't want to wear clothes anymore, so. Yes, um, today's stream, oh wait, let me stream, let me, let me stream, already done, done. Let me tweet. Oh, there's a cat in here. <laughs> Is, this is the thing that Clarky got for the cats. And we've realized that actually, um, Clarky fits perfectly in this. So I was like, maybe that's just your chair now, Clarky. And she was like, she was like, I think maybe the cats didn't like it because there was a tag on it. And now that we've taken the tag off, I think they'll like it. And I was like, Maybe. <laughs> hey, hey, scratch that. That's what it's for. Scratch that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do me a fave. <laughs> if she fits, she sits. Yeah, literally. My child, absolutely. My cats, not so much. <laughs> hey, our prime watch party is 50% of the way funded. Yesterday we did our makeup on stream, right? I went to grab my kid and she was like, mommy, your makeup looks beautiful. And I was like, thank you. And she goes, can we do makeup tomorrow? I was like, you know what? You've been asking for like three days, so sure. Hello. What's up? Oh, bye. Uh-huh. Yeah. Would you like to come in? Okay. <laughs> okay. You can just, you can ask me to move it. makeup this morning yeah. yeah what kind of makeup did you do what did you put on two eyeshadows that's true yes. what color were your eyeshadows stop picking your nose what color were your eyeshadows um, red and blue red and blue 
because you said I want to do red and blue so that I have purple eyeshadow, didn't you? Yeah. And how many lipsticks did you put on? Two. Only two, are you sure? You put on a you put on a orange lip liner, huh? And then bright red lipstick. Yeah. Yeah. And then chapstick, right? Yeah. And then what color was the last one? Purple. Purple, yeah. Was it pretty? Yeah. Yeah. It got a little messy though, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we got some we got some makeup all over our legs, you know. <laughs> Are you gonna go chill? Okay, I love you. I'm glad. Um, we got some on the uh, carpet. <laughs> some got on the carpet, some got on her legs. I was like, how did this even happen? It was literally like everything was fine. And then I looked away for a second and then I looked back and I was like, why is there makeup on the carpet? So. <laughs> I never know when the demo stuff is happening. Why block the door? Um, because again, I have a toddler. Any of you who have a toddler, you know that um, it's really like one moment to the next whether or not they want to be wearing clothes. So. Don't feel bad about blocking the door. I don't, I do it every stream almost. <laughs> <laughs> Steam Demo Fest is now. Yeah, but it's so weird because I open up Steam like every day and I don't recall it being like, hey, there's a bunch of demos to play, right? So it's weird. Next Fest? Is that what it's called? <laughs> they need to put demo in the name. This would not read to me as something I needed to pay attention to at all. <laughs> Yeah, who we'll play Unwalker in the evening? On Tuesday. Mm. Have you guys gotten far on Endwalker? Um you have to ask like Amari and like somebody who's played through all of it and, and is typically there when we play. Um, I don't know how far we've gotten. It's not very far though, I'm pretty sure. Hi. 
how our server times now? Fine. I mean, I, I get an easy peasy, to be honest. I knew we weren't anywhere near even halfway. I just wasn't sure like how to say how far along we are or at all, so. So I'll probably just, um, over the next few weeks, I'll probably just stay an extra hour so that we can get more story done. <laughs> Finally, someone else who isn't far along an end walker. It's nice not to be alone. Yeah, my like my husband also plays, um, and he got it done just in a couple of days. You know, um, like a lot of people did. A lot of people just slammed it. Um, I play with my cousin, and we only play on Tuesdays. She's got you know two kids and like is a stay-at-home parent in a totally different time zone. Um, and you know, for the both of us, it's like the only time really that we can connect to play. And she and I have been playing 14 together for years, years and years and years. So it's not a question of like, should I play without her? That's like non-negotiable to me, right? Like I'm not going to play without her, <laughs> like in terms of story stuff. So we just make slow progress, that's all. Um, I saw the, like, graphical updates and stuff. Yeah, Tyranny. I remember a long time ago, Tyranny was uh, thinking about changing her name online. Because she was like, Tyranny makes it sound like I'm such a like aggressive person, but I'm not. <laughs> She's like, I feel like the name misrepresents me. Like I should change to just Tyranny or something. But I, I really like her name. <laughs> so I'm glad that she hasn't changed it, to be honest. No, Tyranny isn't her real name. It's a name that she chose for herself when we were in like high school, I think. Um, middle school or high school. She's had it for as long as I can remember. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Um, it's hard because you can tell that the area, the section that we're in currently is like obviously building block area if that makes sense so i i can tell that all of the stuff we're doing is laying the groundwork for what the story of this expansion is actually going to be so we haven't we haven't gotten to the point where it feels like i'm going oh this is what this expansion is you know Tell me, what are you going to do in the stream? My mod actually answered you already. I just, I chit chat for a while with a cup of coffee and then I play a game. Why is the door blocked? I will not answer that again. You can come up with your own reason. There's zombies out there, shit's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I yeah, I just don't think we've gotten to the like I 
I don't know story structure well enough to put it into those terms, if that makes sense. But, um... But yeah, it feels like this is foundation work, what we're doing currently. The pacing of Endwalker does feel off, I guess, for a while. I don't feel like it's off. I don't feel like it's off. I've, I feel like... If... Uh, I don't know how to put this. It doesn't feel like it's trying to bait and switch you, but it, it but it feels like currently it's saying this is what the story is, and I feel like that's not actually what the story is going to be. <laughs> I don't know how to talk about this really, but like, like we are doing a specific thing currently, you know. Um, and it feels like it's going to lead to information or a reveal or a, or a catalyst or some sort of a moment that's going to redirect into, oh, actually, this is what, this is the actual focus of this expansion. Does that make sense? Like, that's, that's what it feels like to me as a player is that, we are, again, that we're currently doing foundational work for what is actually going to be the expansion. And Walker does have a good chunk that's heavy on setup. Yeah. I see what you mean, but I can't comment one way or the other. Yeah, I don't expect you to. I'm, I'm just trying to answer the question from earlier of like, how do you feel about it so far? I don't think that I can answer that question. <laughs> I think it's good. I think it's interesting. I love the characters. I think that they've done a lot of stuff that's like fan y in a positive way where I keep being like, yes, I'm so excited, you know? Um, but I don't think that I, I don't think that we've gotten into the meat of it yet, I guess. Where are you in the story just level-wise? 83? Wait, I'm gonna look at the lodestone. It should tell me, right? What level am I? 83. God, and I look cute. Fan service Uriange? What? <laughs> Hi, Nick! <laughs> yeah, Clark, uh, because I did my makeup yesterday, Clarky really wanted to do makeup today, and now there's makeup in my carpet. <laughs> but she had a lot of fun and that's what matters and I'll deal with it later. <laughs> I want some Uriange fan service. I couldn't tell if you were saying like, oh, I know what you mean, the Uriange fan service. And I was like, no, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> When did that happen? That was last expansion. Last expansion is when Uriange was like, what if I just changed my whole vibe? What if I still talked like a dictionary, but I just wore like more revealing clothing? <laughs> and everyone was like, nice. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, if I can't get it out with just the, the carpet stuff that I have, um, I'll just wait until we're moving and probably just uh, just rent a like a rug carpet thing 
like a cleaner thing. <laughs> I did do the wordle today, yeah. have yet to I was gonna say die I still have yet to die in Wordle so pretty proud of that I'm gonna I'm gonna bet you guys I'm gonna bet you guys some money here some some fake internet dollars okay I told Clarky that she could just chill as long as she was upstairs lately what she'll do sometimes is she'll just be hanging, right? And then she'll go, I'm hungry. Daddy is like half awake, mommy's working. So I'm gonna just go in the kitchen and just find something. <laughs> it's normally bread. And then later, when you go downstairs, there's just the whole sack of bread is just open, just like laying on the countertop open and you're like, Clarky, did you? There's a very loud noise outside. Anyway, I think Clarky's gonna steal some bread. That's the long and the short of it. Yeah, I love it. For sure. What is she doing? One sec. <laughs> One sec. Okay, we're fine. It was Clarky, but she's literally just chilling in her old bed that's on the landing and slamming her feet into the wall. <laughs> and I was like, sure, why not? <laughs> when did Moral get a gun? We have on the Discord, we have on the Discord, we have a sticker. That's just moral with a gun and it says delete this, but with delete spelled wrong. <laughs> it's, it's very good. Alex was like, apparently I had to change it because Discord thought that it was a little aggro. So. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> for nothing moral probably I, I just find it funny moral can't even hold guns in game <laughs> Was it 
rice with with chili? Is that the English thing? Rice with chili or pasta with chili? No, it's rice, right? You guys eat rice with chili? Okay, I'll make some rice as well. Or I'll make Sam make rice. He's an adult. <laughs> yeah, I don't do chili on rice, but that's how Sam grew up eating it. So every time we make chili, he's like, it would just be so good with some rice. And I go, oh, fuck, that's right. I never remember. So this time I will remember. <laughs> Rice sounds fine for some reason. Pasta sounds funny. That's the, uh... Where is it that that's a thing? Spaghetti with chili on top? What do you have chili with? I just eat the chili. It's just chili. You just eat it, you just eat it like a stew. <laughs> Where I grew up. You don't have anything. You maybe put some raw onion and cheese on top, but you just, you just eat it. <laughs> Cincinnati, that's what it is. Yeah, but that's a different thing. That's called chili mac. Mac and cheese with chili is chili mac. That's not just eating chili. Yeah. I, look, we've talked about this quite a bit, but... Um, yeah, we've determined that depending on where you live, either you put chili on something, there's a lot of options, <laughs> either you put chili on top of something or you just eat it by itself. I grew up in an area where it was very common to just eat it by itself. <laughs> sounds like eating straight bolognese. I guess if if your version of chili is just like meat slurry, which sometimes it is for people, that is not how I make chili. I don't put cheese on mine, but I do sometimes chop up raw onion and put it on top. Chili pasty? A chili cheese pasty, maybe? That would be yummy. How do you make it? Um, it's onion, garlic, at least three different types of beans, um, chopped up tomato, uh, typically chilies if I have chilies around, corn, um, it's really chunky. I do super chunky chili. If there's meat that needs to get used, I'll put meat in there, but I normally just make veggie chili. Uh, if we have, um, sweet potato, chunked up sweet potato is delicious in chili. Lentils sometimes if I need to like thicken it up. Do you use nutritional yeast? Not in chili. I use it, but not in chili. But this is why I'm saying like, depending on how you make it, it can basically be like a stew or like a thick soup, you know? Hi, Kelly. Gave up. <laughs> Kelly, how are you? I was thinking about you yesterday. I love your beanie. Thank you, I made it. I was. Yeah, we used to make it with kidney beans, but we cut them out because 
Sam had all those intestinal problems. And somebody was like, oh, when you, uh, when you cook, if you ever cook with kidney beans, you should take the kidney beans out because they're really hard on your intestines. And I was like, interesting. So I stopped. Okay, can you knock? Welcome, you fine, cat-loving, coffee-drinking burrito babe. <laughs> okay, can you knock, please? <gasps> Who is it? We all know it, so if you want the button in the front, button in the front. <laughs> You're welcome, my love. <gasps> I caught it. She's so big now. She can be like, whoops. I have to change clothes and just change her whole outfit <laughs> on her own. It's crazy. Does that actually stop Clark? Yeah, it's actually, it's even heavy for me because currently it has so much stuff on it. Sam can just push it out of the way though. I am drinking coffee. From my Dodger Coffee Co mug found in our coffee shop. Check it out, dodgercoffeeco.com. Sam walking through the wall <laughs> right here just busting through I guess if he needed to Mwah. only Sam can stop Sam no lies Goodness gracious. <laughs> so I mean, sorry, I just had been pinged, so I went to look at it really quick. In the like community, in the Neon Divide Discord, like the community one, not the player one. There's two channels. There's art and there's art discussion. So that if you want to just see a channel with cool art from people, it, there's not going to be huge chunks of like conversation about the art in between. Um, so there's two different channels. <laughs> and I went into the art channel today and I saw that a big conversation had been happening and I know that like spatula has been trying to make sure that people use the art discussion channel so I was like hey guys remember use use the art discussion channel for talking about it <laughs> people in our discussion were like 
the moral with a gun picture really convinced me. I felt very threatened and I forgot that I had changed my profile picture on the community one to moral with a gun. <laughs> So, <laughs> whoops, I didn't mean to come across so aggressive. Yeah, Moral's doing good. Yeah, uh, the new season has been very fun. We're, uh, we're only two episodes in, but yeah, it's been cool. Neon Divide is like a, a virtual reality LARP kind of thing. And I play a mushroom person. happens on Friday nights. I don't stream it, but a lot of people do, so. <clears throat> yeah, my character like runs a, um, runs a cafe now and all kinds of stuff. So the VOD when, I'm still working on it. I don't know if you were here yesterday, but I was talking about the issues that I had with um, the footage for episode two, but I am editing it. Hyped for the next episode of Deadbeats. Yeah, I watched the first episode of Deadbeats. I think it's gonna be a good one. Thank you guys. Yes, Kraken is a big rat in Neon Divide, yes. Ricky, Ricky the rat. He's a cutie. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Yeah, it's hard for me to tell, honestly, because Moral doesn't get up to like super exciting stuff in comparison to other characters, but when I've said that in the past, people have just been like, even if it was just coffee shop RP, like you just were in the coffee shop for four hours, even that would probably be fun, so. Um, yeah, so this is my current profile picture. <laughs> but that's my character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the edit, all this to say that like the edited down version might be pretty short considering that it's like four hours of footage. It might wind up being kind of short depending on how much I cut out, but. Your beanie kind of looks like a mushroom cap. Yeah, well, I think like, um, sorry, redirecting to Deadbeats. Deadbeats is like the cop drama D&D show that I'm on. And um, when we first announced it, a bunch of people were like, I don't know how I feel about, not a bunch of people, but a couple people were like, I don't think that this is gonna work having like three good, like good aligned characters and three evil aligned characters, which I thought was such an interesting like assumption to make. You know, that like, cause the, the pitch was three of us are cops, three of us are convicts. And I was like, why would you assume that all of the cops are good? Why would you assume that all of the convicts are bad? <laughs> you know, like it's an interesting assumption to make, um, which I think the first episode already explores quite a bit. So yeah, I think it's gonna be a really good show. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Mm -hmm. I think it'll be fun.
<laughs> you were coming to say hi a lot. What's up, darling? You put another bit of clothing on. You want to take your hair out yourself? Or do you want me to do it? Sometimes when she's obviously like really awake and Sam is obviously really not, I'll just give her my old phone to like watch stuff. And <laughs> if she's in the right mood, like today, she just she just walks around with it. <laughs> I'm like, wait, just put it down. It's not often. She doesn't do that a lot, but like when she does, I'm like, hello. <laughs> hello, ma'am. She has gotten big, I know. Oh, she'll definitely be taller than me. It would be weird if she wasn't, <laughs> I feel like. That's me some days if I'm distracted and in the middle of three chores. Oh, totally. There are some days where I just like just space out really bad or like it's just really easy for me to like, you know, mind empty. <laughs> She wants to, yeah, she wants to be as, as big as Sam. Well, yesterday she was like, mommy, did you know that if you eat all of your fruits and vegetables, you'll be as big as a giant? And I was like, really? And she was like, yeah. I was like, well, I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and I'm not a giant. And she was like, oh, mommy, you haven't transformed yet. It's <laughs> like, oh, she was like, You'll one day you'll transform into a giant. It's like, I see. Okay. Yeah. I was like, what about daddy? Has daddy turned into a giant? She was like, no, daddy's only half giant and I'm half mouse. And I was like, oh, and I'm, I'm just, I'm just a person. I'm just a, I'm just a human. And she was like, you can be half mommy mouse. <laughs> okay, I'll be half mommy mouse. Clarky is half just mouse. <laughs> Do <laughs> one sec, Clarky.
<laughs> no. What? Copy you? I know my sister-in-law and I were talking about how like the girls just love playing with each other but they always want us to play with them and I was like bro we're gonna blink and when they play together they're gonna be like we'll be in our room don't come in <laughs> she was like I know Establishing boundaries boundaries and privacy is important. It's fine. But you know. I'm like, oh, one day she won't want to just hang out with me all the time. <laughs> There's such a like weird like splitting of the brain. Where it's like, gosh, I just wish so badly that she was a little bit more independent. And then the rest of your brain is going, but if she was, I would be sad. <laughs> they will be the ones blocking the door. Well, hopefully I can, uh, you know, <laughs> be aware enough to always knock and let them have their privacy. I feel like the only reason that you would block the door is if I was the sort of parent that was like, Honey! What are you doing in here? My friend's kid is 10. She's still all about hanging out with us for now. Cute. My friend's kid always wanted to roll dice with us when we were playing D&D. Clark, <laughs> Clark asked if she could play Strahd yesterday we were doing the puzzle and she was like mommy i don't want to do the puzzle anymore i want to play that keep in mind she was there when we initially opened strad <laughs> and i was like um i don't think that that's a game that we can very easily play to be honest and she was like why not it was very difficult to explain to her why not <laughs> Yeah, that's what I said to her, but that doesn't really help much. To be like, oh, well, Clarky, it's about like vampires and monsters. And she was like, I like vampires. I like monsters. It's not, it's not the right angle with this kid. I have the Young Adventures guides. There's also a bunch of different systems that um, I've brought up and looked at before that are specifically meant for like little kids. So I think it would be fun once, 
once like Clark is five-ish and the other kids are a bit closer to four, four and a half, I think we could probably like do something fun. creates your own cryptids it's true although we found out that the last one is real so yeah there's um there's a game god i can never remember what it's called but i've been able to find it fairly easily before there's a game that's meant for little kids to play where each kid plays a different animal spirit and the whole game is you, like the quests that you take are helping people in a little town. So you're like, you could be like a little bear spirit, a little fox spirit, whatever. Um, and your group, you're a group of, of little animal spirits that help people in a town. It's very cute, yeah. Yeah, so I think I think that that would Golden Sky Stories. I think that's what it is. Hold on. Yes, I think this is it. Golden Sky Stories. In this game, players take on the role of Henge, animals that have a little bit of magical power, including the ability to temporarily take on a human form. You can be a fox, raccoon, dog, cat. Um, rabbit or bird. Each kind has their own special magical power. Players then attempt to solve problems around a small town with ingenuity, cooperation, and friendship. It's very cute. Yeah. I might, I might try to rope in Tommy, our, our six-year-old nephew. Be like... You're the leader. <laughs> You're the leader of the little animals. And see if he goes for it. Or if he's too cool for that. We'll see. Bye, Forecast Gray. Good luck. somebody else the leader go over well with Clark oh yeah if it's Tommy all the little kids adore Tommy <laughs> we haven't decided what we'll watch for the watch party But there are lots of options on there, so we'll, we'll figure something out. Uh, something that has been asked is whether or not it'll be like a show or a movie, and I said it'll it'll be more like a movie because I won't be able to do like a long thing, and I wouldn't want it to be more than one stream. So a movie is going to be easier, I think. Tips for getting into D&D &D for a 20 year old that's never played before. Um, there are lots of like looking for group sort of stuff that you can find. There's so many different ways that you can play online. So you don't need to find people that are near you. Um, if you wanted to find people that are near you, there are websites like Meetup um, where people will say like, hey, I'm running a game. I need, you know, X number of people. Do you want to play, you know? Um, 
as long as you have somebody or a couple of people in the group that are more seasoned players, typically, at least like, I guess I shouldn't say typically, but um, for the most part, I've run into people who are very excited to like teach a new player. So. Sherlock leave. It's because he didn't. He's just passed out. <laughs> into it too but I'm so gosh darn shy I'll never find a group that's what's hard right is if like if the idea of reaching out to people you don't know and playing with people you don't know really stresses you out that's like a huge barrier to playing so I get that That's basically what I did for Sam's family. It was um Great Great Sheep Chase or Great Sheep Escape or whatever whatever that like one shot is called. <sighs> like doing like a really short something, like a one shot or a two shot or something. Just so people learn the rules and see if they like it. I think that's cool. shot. I've never heard of a few shot, but I like that. <laughs> a one shot with my college friends once there was so much rp and bantering it took us four sessions yeah the one shot with sam's family took two took two sessions because yeah you know there were so many moments where we had to stop and be like okay this is this is how you do this or this is how you do that you know hi hb campaign all the way to level 20 with my friends during college that's awesome yeah I learned to play in college because um, I had a bunch of a bunch of friends in the theater department that had been playing for years and they had uh, they had an opening for a player so I was like hell yes getting in there thank you thank you I made it it's the same thing I say when people compliment Clark. Currently teaching myself how to make VTuber models. Oh my god. God bless. <laughs> everyone, everyone that I know that's like, I'm just gonna learn how to make this for myself. Incredible. I could never. <laughs> Oh, 
by means boobs. You inspired me to work on my drawing a bit more and make a reactive for myself for fun. Yay! That's awesome. Look at us. We're all drawing. We're all drawing more. I'm proud of all of us. I played Call of Cthulhu RPG in college and I was making a new character every month because of bad dice rolls. <laughs> I assume that's an inside hoodie. No, I wear this everywhere. <laughs> because much like a lot of you, this, it doesn't read as being anything specific until you say it. No, I haven't done anything to Sam's stitch to it yet. I started drawing and painting again at the end of last year after a two decade long pause, thanks to my friend inspiring me. That's so awesome, I love that. Like I've said, I only really started consistently drawing again because of Clark. That's awesome. You never know what's gonna be like the thing that gets you back into it. For me, it was like being around a little person who just loved like learning to draw <laughs> and like asking me to draw things, you know? Ever gonna take it off? Mommy, look. Yeah. There's two cords there, huh? Nice. Well done. You freed it. buttons, honey. There's only these. They're already done. This is a cute outfit. You should wear that to school sometime.
Sherlock, you had your shot, dude. I stood up, the door was open. I tried to usher you out and you said nay. who can't decide if they want in or out that never happens it's true how you doing silly but we um i'm trying to decide i really enjoyed infernax i might want to play another day of infernax I mean, it was obnoxious and I got so frustrated, but like in a good way, you know? <laughs> Electrician simulator, don't. Don't. Hmm, lots of stuff. No, Electrician Simulator I adored and I didn't realize it was a demo. I've already played it and I got pissed because it was like, one day this game will be done. And I was like, what? <laughs> together. We'll look at it together. Hi, darling. Hi, Papa. You okay? Interesting. Why is Steam just like a black window? Why is that? Is it always like that? Can you not just grab Steam? No, I didn't finish Outer Wilds. I'll probably never finish Outer Wilds. If I'm being honest. No, I mean I can see it fine. When I try to when I try to capture it in OBS, I can't see it, is what I'm saying. Hey, 
enable hardware acceleration. And that makes it so OBS can capture it. Okay, well, never mind. We'll just sit, you can just watch Sherlock sit on my lap instead. Okay. Um, city builder, survival, space resource management. No, thank you. Um, survival simulator in a parallel world that echoes modern society. Manage your time and resources. Also not really my type of game. Farm sim, life sim. Now we're talking. Strategy RPG with real-time combat. Uh, looks cool. Doesn't look like my kind of game. Not that I have to play games that are my type of game, but like if there are lots of demos that seem more up my alley, I might as well play those, you know? FPS bullet hell. Co-op FPS bullet hell. Uh, this looks pretty sick, actually. Sandbox City Builder. Eh. Action Adventure Casual Puzzle. Oh, this is a game that's already been out, I guess, but they like remastered it. Show me more. Nova Islands, crafting is one of the major things on it. Yes. Beacon Pines says I'll like it because I got Hollow Knight. Beacon Pines. Um. Go by let's see action adventure strategy sim RPG puzzle platformer let's click on puzzle and see what it tells us children of silent town I've had on my wish list for a long time Do cube. Oh my god. Well, thank you for telling me. Thank you. 
There's actually quite a few of these that look interesting. I really wish you could see what I'm seeing. You'll just have to like, trust me. <laughs> You'll just have to like, trust me, you know? Oh, I see. It's a hentai puzzle game. That's why it's on here. Cute puzzle platformer. Sure. I always thought it's because Steam displays payment info. I guess that makes sense. In case you were like, died honey can you go to daddy thank you darling oh my god i'm downloading so many demos <laughs> There's so many. Trust in Dodger like we trusted Kim. Oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh, sorry. Okay, what are some of the, the games that you guys said you're being recommended? I have seen the dating phones, uh, dating sim game, yeah. escape the fold oh forward escape the fold I wasn't expecting to see a big old demon interesting download demo Sunhaven is stardew like with dragons Oh, this is early access. I don't see a demo specifically. I'll let you add in a second, Sherlock. Elder Hand demo. Similar to Infernax and Blasphemous. <laughs> Got it. And Beacon Pines. Okay, I feel like we've got plenty of things to try. <laughs> to choose what we're playing okay how many oh my god one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven i downloaded 11 demos so i guess we're doing a demo day now <laughs> hi do you want out i do love you
fucking cats, dude. I love Halloween. Okay. So... There are a couple that seem a bit like darker, creepier, so maybe we'll try to consolidate all of those. So if somebody doesn't want to watch like the creepy, unsettling, body horror, gory ones, then they can just avoid that day. Um, so maybe we'll plan to do that. Well, how long does this go for? How long are these demos available? Hold on, let's check. Until the 28th. Oh, we got lots of time. So maybe Thursday, we'll do like um, a bunch of the ones that people might want to skip. Like one of these games is literally like, you're a kid trying to escape a house with a pet spider. And I'm like, yeah, that ticks plenty of boxes for somebody that might want to avoid that, you know? Um, so yeah, maybe we'll, we'll try and do all of those on the same day. And today maybe we'll do, let's see. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm going to do a general... I guess I'll just put like, warnings will change dependent on game. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure how to, how to basically just write like, proceed with caution. <laughs> you know, like. Please be aware we're, we're unsure of what is contained in all of these demos, you know? day warnings. Today is a demo day. We will be playing a variety of different games and are unsure of the content in them all. Viewer discretion is advised. If you need to leave, we understand. So our first demo is going to be Core Keeper. really quick and do a break before um before we start into it in earnest i will be right back go pee grab a drink whatever you need to do um and i'll see you in a sec
Hello. We all Gucci now. Had some some wagwa. Oh no, speaking of, wait, no. Hold on, wait. <laughs> wait, wait. Wowder. Ah. <laughs> Okay. 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 We're good. We're good. We're good now. We're good now. Yeah. I can never do this right. Am I even? Am I even a VTuber? Am I even a ping tuber? Really? <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Let me make a <laughs> let me make a new a new demo day splash in the background. <laughs> I was like, I'll never call it a ping, and now look at me. <sighs> ah, glitter text? Now we're talking. But what color? Hmm. Ooh, rainbow? Always. Font size big. <laughs> yeah, sure. What? That's not what I want. <laughs> Background is ever growing. It is. Lots of, I don't want it to be one that's gonna like make people's eyeballs hurt though. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. This. Download. Okay. Quick access. Surely it's here. Come on. Yeah! Demo day, bitch! Ah! <laughs> well, that's not, that's not what we wanted. Or is it? <laughs> How do I undo that? Reset. Okay, great. Ahem. Anyway. There we go. <laughs> great. It's demo day. We did it. Okay, I really wanted sparkle text, but it's fine. No, no flashing. That was the whole point, as I didn't want to do one of the, <laughs> the text that's really like blinky or weird.
<sighs> okay. Why is the why so far from everything else? Don't worry about it, free. Don't worry about it, free. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Look, I got it off of a text, a text generator website. It's gonna look like Gorb. Alright. Alright. Tell your friends, tell your girlfriends, tell your boyfriends, tell your dogs, tell your cats, tell everybody. We're doing demos today. Core Keeper. Let's see. Meekser, thank you. Press any button. Should I be, is this? Okay. Controller, got it. Every time I hear a yawn, I'm sh taking a shot of espresso. Please don't, I like having you around. Wait. I went to co so one of, <laughs> one of the characters ah! one of the characters in Neon Divide well I guess technically two two of the characters in Neon Divide are getting married on the next episode and I was like is there a is there a dress code and they were like no but some people are dressing up and I was like son of a bitch so I went to Como and I was like Como can you just like slap a bow tie on Moral <laughs> can you just slap something on Moral uh, to make them look like they made an attempt at dressing up. And Como just messaged me back and was like, yes. Someone put a bow tie on this mushroom. <sighs> okay, start game. Enter world name? Gorbage. Done. Select. Done. Oh, okay. Character type. Hardcore! No. Ooh! Okay. Maybe this is- maybe this might be easier with mouse and keyboard. Is this just tiny eyes, big eyes? <laughs> Wait, the mohawk was good though. No, come back. Wait, yeah. I have no idea what this game is, by the way. <laughs> no clue. But I'm ready. Oh, I'll just make dash. I'll just make dash. I'll just make dash. That's easy. That's easy enough. What? No white shirt? All right. He's a very serious cop boy. Oh, background. Chef, gardener, nomad? Oh my god. Dash is my, uh, my cop character. <laughs> Enter name. Dash. Okay. Uh, gardener, nomad, explorer, plus three running skill, plus one small lantern, plus three food rations. 
plus three mining, plus one copper pickaxe, plus three food rations. Fighter. Let's go. In a place far away from anywhere else. Oh. You are part of a group of explorers making your way through the forest. Feeling a strange presence, you notice something between the trees. Drawn to it, you approach this strange relic and raise a hand toward it. Upon touching its surface, a blinding light engulfs you. down tab Mushrooms. What's this? Gorm the Devourer? Oh. Wow, look at that. Plus one running. Okay. Glurch the abominous mass. Unlocked in early access. Okay. What's that? Okay. Map tab. A basic workbench. Sounds good. Put that there. And make some tools, I guess? A wood floor, a bridge. Uh, sure. Oh my god, it just happens instantly. Oh my god. Okay, what do I need for this stuff? Copper bars. How am I get that? Wood and fiber. Uh, okay. Oh. 
Uh, okay. Used to cross chasms and water. This is wood. Um, okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oops. Uh, put it there. Nice. Oh, hell yeah. Here we go. Here we go. to make torches, so I might as well do that. <laughs> Sand wall, copper ore. Um, okay. Okay, and then there are more sp Borkles this way. Is this going to be the sort of game where it pulls directly from your chests? That's what we're going to find out. How did, why did I, how did I mute myself? Why was I muted? Not, um, hmm, weird. Is there anything else I can make now? No, I need to be able to make copper bars. Oh, I know you could hear me. I was muted in Discord, so my my thing wasn't like doing anything, if that makes sense.
What's, what's that? Oh. Well, something is loud. Okay, I have to have the items on me. That's too bad. Furnace. Yeah, bitch. Okay, cute. If I wanted like a wall. Oh. Oh. Oh, interesting. It is cute. Okay, I see. break. I thought it would break by now. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, and it just starts using the next one. Oh, incredible. Um, I'm quite hungry. Can be cooked. Okay, that's better. Cooking pot. Ah. Wish I had done that earlier. <laughs> um, cooking pot will go here. Uh, or not. Or it won't, or it won't go there. Maybe. cute game. I know. I really like the way that the light works, too. I don't know enough to know why it feels, like, different or interesting, but it does. Hey, buggies. 
Get out of here. New talent point available. How do I use that? Skills? Oh. Plus 5% less food drained when running. Oh, okay. Oh, cool, okay. Cool. Yeah, this is this is a demo that we're currently playing. Oops, oh my god. A different block type. What is that? Glow tulip. But what is it? Okay. Oh, there's water here. Realize that before? Oh my god, I'm not sure if I did. New item, a ring of stone? Plus 14 mining damage. Whoa! If you have two of them, you do plus 49 mining damage? What the hell? Plus four glow for one minute can be cooked a precious shimmering flower that absorbed ancient energy well hot damn This works. Oh, God. <laughs> Is that what I wanted? I'm not sure.
need fiber for a bed. Where am I gonna find fiber? I feel like if I follow the green, I should get there. God. Our first monster. Oof. Keep going this way until I like reconnect back with the area we started in. <laughs> Here we go. Nice. Okay. Processed. Soft mossy wall. Okay. A ho. Yes, please. I'll eat more mushrooms, but then I'll be completely out of food. Hmm. Yeah, it regens you. That's nice. Gemstone. Strange blue gemstone emitting waves of energy. Uh, okay.
I wonder. Hmm. Oh no. Nice. Sure. Ooh, yeah, an anvil. Now we're talking. And a door. Now we're talking. Okay. An anvil. Sure, I'll put that there. Yes. <laughs> I look very good. I know, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, oof, this game seems dangerous. <laughs> what? No, what? Uh, ma'am? Oh, I have to just hit E, okay. <sighs> uh, okay, so I'll go get water. Okay. And then water these shits. Okay. Okay. And then, uh. Cool. Gosh, my health is not looking Gucci. No! The boy died. Ripperoni. Yo, this game is very fun. Uh... I want to swap to a different game because we are trying to play a bunch of demos today. But this game seems like it's going to be super fun. This one's called Core Keeper. If you want to try out the demo for yourself, I'm sure there's plenty more that you can do in this demo. Why did you do that? Why did I, why did I die? It wasn't on purpose. <laughs> I died so that I could feel the thrill. <laughs> Quit. <laughs> okay. Next game that we wanted to try out is this one. Just called A Little to the Left. Ooh bit louder. Thank you. 
do we feel? How do we feel now? Okay. Oh, there's more! star. wasn't about size. Wait, 
Why? What? Why? There's like one spot where they can be upright. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh jeez. I really like this game. It's fine. <laughs> Thank God. Thank you. 
Okay. Are these ones supposed to go in order? Oh my god, I'm annoyed. <laughs> I was like, surely it has to do with the design. And it just doesn't. <gasps> or does it? Oh my god. What? What are these for? Nice. Good. That's the sort of energy I want out of this cat. Thanks for playing the demo! Oh, cute! I wonder if it's like... If the ones that have two stars... If it's a star for finishing the puzzle and a star for keeping the cat from ruining the puzzle? Maybe it's something like that. Okay, cool. Well, did that. <laughs> two down! Two down! <sighs> um... So let me double check what this game is. Yeah, okay, so this one is a puzzle platformer called Puzzles for Clef. So that's what we're gonna play next. Puzzles for Clef. <laughs> is a bit dicey on this. It's not just me, right? It's like kind of stalty. Stalty? Sure. so cute wait oh there we go forest is really huge there's so much light and space here i'll find the bell pretty quickly use controller this seems like a it's a little loud oh sorry turned it down quite a bit i thought that was fine okay oh i have to use keyboard and mouse interesting you guys can't oh my god it's not even like Oof. This is very cute, but uh, I think it needs to be like optimized for streaming because it's n it is not working. <laughs> Look at that! No. Ripping peppers. Well, um, I guess I guess we'll do the next one. 
I know, it looks really pretty. It's just not, it's having a lot of issues. It's having a lot of issues on my end, but even more issues through OBS. So, never mind, not that one. Hold on just a sec. I need to take a quick break.
Hey guys, sorry, um, I just got some family news. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna turn the music down a little bit. I just got some family news that's, um, <clears throat> rattled me a little bit. It's, it's okay right now, but I don't know if I'm really, like, in the right zone to stream. Um, so I think that I'm gonna end here. Sorry, guys. Uh, I was talking with Sam about whether or not I should keep streaming, and he was like, I do not think you should, so, um, yeah, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna head out, um, streaming tonight is TBD currently, so I'll let you guys know, but, um, otherwise, you guys are great, thank you so much, we'll continue demo day on Thursday, tomorrow's my day off, so that's good timing, um, but yeah, I will see you guys on Thursday, okay? Sorry guys, thanks so much. Um, let's find somebody to raid really quick. Cause I don't think, um, has anybody redeemed Great Leader? Let me double check if somebody has. <clears throat> Narp, okay, I will find someone. What's everybody doing? <sighs> What's everybody doing? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna send you over to Spatula because <laughs> the thumbnail made me laugh and that's worth that's that's worth it. Go say hi to Spats. Um, they're a neon divide friend and just generally lovely, very talented. Um, I will see you guys on Thursday. Uh, unless I see you tonight, but it's, I'm, I'm not guaranteeing that. So yeah, thank you guys. And, uh,